Hey guys, thanks for thanks for being on. Exciting exciting night for us, and very thankful that you guys took the time here to be on. Our guys are excited to be in the tournament for the first time, in 30 years, a chance to play for a national championship. We got a great group of guys too um, that worked very hard. A real challenging league, and uh, we're here in Indy, and we. Navigated COVID. I told them before the team that figures out how to navigate COVID. We never had a pause. We never had any stoppages. So a real tip of the hat and thankful for uh, you know, a lot of people and, and a lot of hard work and Pat Hobbs, strength and conditioning, Dave Van Dyke, my staff, Brandon Knight, Carl Hobbs, Steve Hain done an unbelievable job and, and all of them have, uh, but I'm really excited for Rutgers nation and uh, students. Uh, it's just a great honor. It's an unbelievable opportunity. So excited about it. We got to go to work now and figure out our opponent. Coach, we're going to take our first question from Jerry Carino with Gannett. Steve, congratulations. And what is the what is the gut feeling that comes across when the, when you see Rucker's name on the screen, knowing what that means to everybody in this program? Well, I mean, you know, we already talked to the governor, you know, what it means for the state of New Jersey. I mean, we're – Rutgers is an unbelievable institution. It's, it's an amazing university with great people and, you know, tremendous resources and um, it's a great university. And I'm just really excited. Our team represents the university the right way. You know, we have a lot of great things going on in athletics. We got Coach Yano on the football side. We have a Hall of Fame coach and she'll hear her name tomorrow in women's basketball. Um, they're ranked. You know, our wrestling team is going to send five guys to the national championships. Our men's lacrosse team is ranked fourth. Our women's soccer team is ranked 19th. You know, there's a lot of good things going on. Now men's basketball, um, it's a chance to dance for the first time. And, you know, it's a good time to be a Scarlet Knight and, and very excited. We'll take our next question from Keith Sargent, NJ.com. Steve, congratulations. Thanks, Keith. What, was it worth the wait? I mean, not, not getting in, not having a tournament last year. Uh, you you kind of talked about you didn't even want it, the NCAA to do a ceremonial bracket draw. You thought that would be bittersweet. Was it worth the wait? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, you know, again, these guys for two years now, you know, this has been a journey. Last year never ended. Season just stopped. And uh, so not being able to play last year, um, just kind of carried over to this year. And, and this year was so challenging in so many ways. These guys just kept plugging away. And, and, and this league is just – daunting the task as you saw nine teams get in this year um, into the tournament so uh, every night was a challenge um, but uh, you know just happy happy for our guys you know they, they did all the sacrifice and they did all the work my staff too does an unbelievable job um, and to have an opportunity to play for a national championship I think you know 30 years ago I was playing in this tournament at, at Connecticut so uh, it's a long long time ago and and uh I'm happy now our guys get a chance to experience what I experienced as a student athlete. And uh, they made history. They made history. They were the one team that, that was able to do it. And I know last year we did it, but, you know, no one gives you credit for last year. These guys get the credit they deserve this year. And now, um, you know, what are you going to do with this opportunity? That was my first question to them. We're going to go to Steve Politi, NJ.com. Hey, Steve, again, congratulations. Uh, just a quick follow-up. You said you talked to the governor uh, already. I mean, what, what, when was that conversation? Uh, he's just excited. You know, I said, we're Jersey strong and, you know, it's a great state. We're the state university of New Jersey. So proud, proud to be representing. He is too. And, um, you know, very thankful that he reached out. And under most circumstances, you'd be back at uh, the rack and you'd be able to break down film at home. How do you, how do you scout an opponent? How quickly do you get the Clemson stuff going? I mean, how does that work from Indianapolis? It started six minutes ago. So we, we, we'll, we'll have a lot of information. We, we have to be quarantined for two, two straight tests here. So we're going to be basically in our hotel room. So we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy for a few minutes and then we'll uh, do our work, obviously playing an ACC team and, you know, Clemson and, Brad does an unbelievable job. He's a really good coach. Um, they 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 won. They beat two of teams in our league. Um, you know they got good guard play, and then they're a good basketball team. I've seen them already on 
TV a few times, not knowing we were going to play him, but just in the course of watching basketball through the year. So um, always, you know, when you get into this tournament, challenging, uh, but, uh, you know, excited, excited about the opportunity. Going to go to Ryan Dunleavy, New York Post. Uh, Kenny Steve, congratulations. You said uh, Thanks, Ryan. you said it's about what you guys do with the opportunity. What can? How dangerous do you think your team is here? I mean, obviously, can you get back to that level you were playing at when you started six and zero and beat Illinois, Maryland, Syracuse back to back to back? Yeah, I mean, we we've played really good basketball, you know. So I feel really good. We're ready for any challenge. I mean, and when you go through 20 games in our league, 20, you know, 22 games counting the tournament, you guys saw how good Illinois is. You guys know how good Michigan is and those teams. Um, we've seen every style and uh, we're a confident group. When we defend and rebound, we can play with anybody. And, you know, we have good players and we're an exciting team to watch too. So, uh, you know, our guys will, you know, be, be locked in and, and ready to play good basketball and, I play a good 40 minutes on both ends of the floor. That's what you do to advance. Next question from Bobby Darren, 24-7. Steve, take us through what it was like watching that uh, selection show with the team and, and what the experience was like for you actually hearing that name. Yeah, we're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway here, which has been awesome. So they, they gave us an, a, a suite here, and we're overlooking the racetrack. And, um, you know, it was just nice you know to be together with the guys and, you know, this is something that we've talked about. We've watched this in the past. The selection show haven't been on it. And, uh, you know, happy, happy for the guys that they earned this opportunity. And they were very excited um, and very, you know, COVID responsible too. Um, and all of our actions tonight. So, you know, we could stay safe and then we'll quarantine for a few and then we'll get to practice. I'm going to take a question from Justin Walters with Pix11. Hey, Steve, congratulations. This was part of your vision plan when you were introduced as the head coach at Rutgers. You said you wanted them to win. Now that it's come full circle, what has been the most rewarding part? And then a two-parter, how will you learn from the last experience with Stony Brook that hopefully will help you out this go around in the tournaments? Well, you know, I'm real thankful. We had Joey Downs, our seniors from last year, on, on a FaceTime with us too, and Shaq Carter, and couldn't get a quasi, but those guys are a big part of this because they were part of last year's team, which, which would have gotten in. Uh, so we wanted to make them a part of it. They weren't able to come here and share the time with us, but, you, you know, we were able to get them, you know, to, to share it with us when we got announced. Um, you know, I, I played in it as a player in the tournament, and got a chance to coach as an assistant coach in the tournament and as a head coach, you, you know, it's, it's always an unbelievable, you know, opportunity and, you know, told our guys that every team I've been on, what, what are you going to do with this opportunity? That's what the question has to be answered. And uh, we got to do a great job of preparing my staff. will. you know, and these guys, like I said to you, Brandon Knight, Carl Hobbs, Steve Hayner are really good. Uh, they'll do a great job digging in and we'll have a good game plan. Again, we're playing a really good team. You got to play well when you're in the tournament. Uh, but I think your past experiences, you want to share those with with your team. And and I've been fortunate as a player to play in it and and coaching it. And I'll share those ideas with our guys. We'll let them tonight enjoy a little bit, and uh, and and uh, we'll we'll get ready to play on Friday. We're gonna go to Otis Livingston with CBS Two. Congratulations, Coach. Otis, good, <laughs> good to see you. Yeah, you too. Um, for your returning players, how much were they driven by making it to the tournament last year and not being able to play in it, but uh, driven to, to do that this season? And how confident are they going into this? And like you said, you're playing up against an ACC tournament in Clemson. I mean, you know, I think you have to be. They were driven last year. I mean, we had to win every game last year. This year, the same thing. Every game, you got to win, you got to win, you got to win. They've, they've been through all that stuff. Um, confidence is never a problem with this group. Hasn't been for two years. Um, sometimes we lose sight of what we got to do to win. And that's rebound and defend. But confidence has never been, you know, like an issue. They're, they'll be very confident going into the game just to make sure that uh, we take away strengths of Clemson and we'll be digging into those those things moving forward. But they're really good. And, and uh, 
they've been well tested too. And I think when you're ACC or Big Ten, you're you're well tested, you know. And, and so nothing will surprise any of these, you know, teams. They've seen it all. We got to make sure that you know our guys are ready. And we have veteran guys too. So yeah, uh, we have some older guys that have never played in the tournament, but they're older guys. They've been through through the ringer a little bit. All right. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. Coach, we appreciate the time. We're going to take one more question. We're going to go to Aaron Brightman with On the Banks. Aaron. Hey, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, wanted to ask about your relationship with Pat Hobbs and what his support has meant to you through this journey and how much the support of the university has helped you get to where you are right now today. Well, I tell you, you know, President Holloway, Pat Hobbs, you're only as good as your bosses up above. They both share the same vision. You know, pres the president wants to, you know, win, but he wants student athletes to have a great experience. He wants, you know, good student athletes academically. Uh, we probably 3.5 team grade point average. So we got great kids that, that win in basketball and they represent the school the right way. And, you know, Pat told me that do it the right way and bring in great kids. And I think that's what we've done. And we've cl climbed the gauntlet. This league is as tough as there is from one to 14 and we've been able to you know do some things that have helped our you know program a lot building the new practice facility the apc has helped us a tremendous amount wouldn't have happened without pat's leadership um and you know very thankful he's been you know by my side and uh i appreciate his vision i appreciate that he appreciates um student athletes that we've recruited and Everybody's graduated since I've been there. And, uh, you know, that's all a tip of the hat to Pat. You can't do these things. Everyone talks about the coach. If, you know, president, the AD, you don't win in a league as good as this um, without the commitment from everybody. And, and very thankful that we have that at, at Rutgers. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Coach, actually, we're going to sneak in one more question. Uh, we're going to take no problem. Richie Schneider right, from Rivals. Hey, Steve, congrats on making the tournament. Richie, thank you. So um, my question for you is you guys have played over the years, whether it's this year or previous years at Mackey Arena, at um, the Indi Indiana Assembly Hall and all that, and now at Lucas Oil Stadium recently. Do you feel like that kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage going into this? You know, I, I'm now, I hope so. I'll take any advantage I can get, Rich. Um, I, you know, we have played there. You know, some of our guys have played there multiple times. Um, you know, it helps a little bit. We were at Lucas Oil. We at least we didn't get to shoot around there or anything like that, but we played a couple games there. Um, so um, still got to play well, and you know, but you're familiar with the surroundings. I mean, it's just a different environment, no fans uh, or limited amount of fans. Um, so that's still a different part of COVID and basketball, but, uh, you know, hopefully that gives us, a, you know, a little bit of an advantage. Coach, thanks again for the time, and congratulations on the bid. Guys, th thanks so much for being on. I always appreciate you guys. All right? You guys have a great night. Stay healthy. Thanks.